December, a riot at the Adair Youth Development Center brought the condition of those facilities into the statewide spotlight. This afternoon in Frankfurt, the Legislative Oversight and Investigations Committee held a hearing about the facility's current conditions, but things took a turn when the Department of Public Advocates alleged that conditions are worse than the Department of Juvenile Justice described. Reporter Jessica Umbro was there and explains what happened. Carrie Harvey of the Kentucky Justice and Public Safety Cabinet focused Thursday afternoon on what he says are improvements in the Adair Youth Detention Center's conditions compared to when a riot took place at the facility late last year. I think they're doing a really remarkable job and I think they're making great improvements. However, things took a turn when Lauren Beaker Hunter, directing attorney at the Department of Public Advocacy's Glasgow office, presented allegations of mistreatment at the facility. What we are finding in these records is there is no due process hearing and the automatic um, sanction that is given is isolation. Witnesses from the Kentucky Justice and Public Safety Cabinet and the Department of Juvenile Justice were given an opportunity to respond to the claims made by the Department of Public Advocacy. They said that they were caught off guard by the allegations and denied them. Uh, I I don't know that there's a way that we can respond to all these specifics because we had no notice of this presentation. I, I'm very surprised to, to hear that information given because that's certainly not uh, my understanding at all. But they do say that isolating juveniles will be used when it means keeping others safe. Nobody wants any youth or anybody to be isolated. But if that's what you have to do to, to try to preserve safety, I mean, what else can you do?